And then next question, so now you've decided to keep that vehicle. Can you just walk us through exactly how do you reprice that vehicle? How long does that process take? And then do you make any changes in that lease structure after a repossession? Uh, maybe like a shorter term or adjusting the residual? Uh, keep it you stand. Uh, yeah. Then you can answer that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, then just really? a Let me go ahead <laughs> no, and answer that. <laughs> um, is we bring them back in, and, and, and let's talk about, let's say, 18 purses, because I have so many of them on the books. Um, we basically bring that vehicle back in and everything, and today they're $14,995, not $12,995, when it was in the pandemic, when they were cheaper. Uh, we, we price it according to market, but I also put policies in place, because we know our managers and our salespeople as well as we do, and we all know them, they're all that way is we don't allow them to sell that vehicle to a cash customer and or finance to another lender. If it is a lease vehicle, it will always be a lease vehicle until I send it to the scrapyard. Wow. And, and it eliminated me having to deal with pricing of cars and, and all of this type stuff because at the end of the day, it's our asset. You know, and, and salespeople, obviously, they weren't real happy about it, you know, but uh, they got over it, and we moved on. And how about you, Cowboy? Um, we just price it to the market value. Gotcha. And then when we bring them back in, we'll assess the asset. If there's been damage on it, we're going to try to get an insurance claim, and hopefully they had insurance. Gotcha. And that's one of the big fingers crossed that it's still active policy. Yeah. And do you ever adjust? <laughs> they uh, paid me for 30 days, so uh, hopefully they paid their insurance. Yeah. <laughs> And do you adjust uh, term on that next? I will, run it, I will uh, we'll run it at 36 months. 36. Or, uh, sometimes I'll drop it down to 30 just to try to keep the payments up. Gotcha. I mean, we want to make sure the payments are going to be in line with what the customer can afford, but also we want to be at the, the higher end of what they can afford. Gotcha. For us payment-wise. And how about you, Dustin? Yeah, exactly the same. We price everything to market. Um, you know, we do a lot of financing through credit acceptance, so we price everything at credit acceptance pricing. So if it, did, if it does end up being a... A deal that'll make a good profit. It's, it's a even though it's a. I, I kind of feel the same as Stan. I want it to be a, a lease car forever. But if it's a deal that'll work, it, it's it's a good deal, and, and we'll take that. But yeah, we price it to market, and um, you know, same term. I mean, we'll, we'll cut the term a little bit as the car gets a, a little older. But for the most part, it's the same term. Uh, uh, we don't change that a whole lot. Yeah. 